Let me show you how to make the perfect egg. It's just five to 10 minutes cooking and preparation both. So all you need, not that much ingredients. As far as the ingredients, eggs, of course, we need to make the omelets. The omelet, I mean, sorry, grammar problem. And then you need the eggs, and then you need butter, salt, and pepper. And that's all for the ingredients. But as far as the materials that you need, you need a plate to serve it in, obviously. And whatever utensils you need to eat it. For me, I'm using a, sp I mean, a fork and a knife. I'm just so used to eating from spoons. And then also you need a spatula and also a plate. You don't want to get your counter messy, right? I'm not sure anyone does. All the parents have to do clean up. So then let's get let's start cooking. First, heat up, heat your pan to to medium between low. For some stuffs, it shows like low, med, and high. That stands for low, medium, and high. You need to have it just in between. It doesn't have to be perfect though. Perfect is impossible. About that. And then heat. Actually, you don't even need to heat it up. Get your butter and then spread it around. Then it should start melting all around. But remember, don't use too much. And also, if you want to, if you're on a, like a diet or something and you want to go a little healthier, use ghee. It's way healthier. So then, let me get my eggs, and then get one, crack it. Ooh, this one's a big one. Wonder what will be inside. And then boom, this one has two yolks. That's amazing. So then, but I'll just throw this in the trash. And then also remember to wash your hands after you've cracked the egg. And then I'm back in. So then also you need you need to do do this wham 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 wham. Hit hit the yolks and then spread it out evenly. Nicely. That's good. And then you need a lid. Okay. Okay. And also, it's better to have one a lid without this hole in, in here for air, which makes it cook faster. But it doesn't really make a difference other than the time. And then also, remember to have a bowl. You don't want to burn the counter. Then there will be a, a tiny hole in there. So then you just have to wait until the sides get brown. I'll show you that later. And also, you need your salt and pepper if you want some flavorings. So it's okay to remove the lid. Let's see how it's going. It looks amazing. I'll get my salt and pepper. And just, and just like one pinch of salt. Spread it around. And then a little bit of pepper until it looks kind of like this. That's your goal. Let's see if it's brown yet. Nope. Wait. Wait. But also, it is brown, but not on all sides, which means it might not be cooked enough yet. Oh, wow. That's just a bubble that emerged right out of the yolk. All right. Maybe one more minute. Okay, now it's brown on mostly all the sides. So then you get your spatula and then scoop until you got it right under and then flip. Oh wow, that's amazing. It's almost like never before. And then cook it for like five to 10 seconds. Don't cook it too much. 
think that's good. And yes, it is good. And then, and then scoop it. And then you put it on your plate. Put that right there. Spoon and fork right here. This is my end result. I'm not sure of your end results though. It should look at least a little similar though. And then let's cut it open. And you might have noticed on your omelet, hey, it looks a little uncooked. But don't worry, only if it's oozing out, then it's uncooked. And if it is, then cook it more. But if it's not oozing out, but it looks uncooked, it's fine to eat. It's cooked already. And then let me do the final finale of eating. Drum roll, please. too and if you do put it in the comments and and please like and subscribe and also put in the comments what do you want me to make next bye